Landsmark Be Wise. Learn with City Tech Learning. Press the red button to subscribe. Like the video, share the video with friends and family. Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to start with the series of SSC Science chapter wise important topics. Now, this is going to be an entire big series of all 16 chapters. I am going to discuss the important topics from each chapter. Let's start with the first chapter. First chapter is chemical reactions and equations. Now, before we actually start with the important topics, let us try to understand the name of the chapter. Now, what is the name of the chapter says? It says chemical reactions and equation. There are two parts. Now, chemical reaction, what does this mean? This name itself tells you that in this chapter, we are going to study about some chemicals and we are going to see how they are reacting. What is reaction and what are the types of reaction maybe? So, and the second part, it says equations. Now, we know how to uh, write chemical reactions in the full name manner. We don't know to how to make it into equations. So, in this chapter, we are going to study how we can make them into equations. Okay, so let's start now. First thing, I've already showed our equation there. Can you see A plus B gives you C plus D. Now, substances which undergo reaction are called reactants. Now, if you see in this equation, A plus B going to C plus D, the A and B are nothing but they are the reactants. Why? Because they are undergoing the reaction. These two are undergoing reaction and they are going to form C plus D. So, the substances which are undergoing reaction are called reactants. Okay. Now, the new substances formed during a chemical reaction are called products. These two are very simple to understand, reactant and product. But this is basic to understand the entire chapter. What is reactant and what is product? Okay. A small question can come to say, an uh, equation could be given and you could be asked to find out which are the reactants and which are the products. Okay. Now, now this we are going to see now the types of reaction. Now, it doesn't need not be that only two reactants are forming a single product or double product. There can be many types of reaction. Let's see. The first is combination reaction. Now, when two or more reactants react to form a single product, this is called as combination. They combine. So, you have to learn from the words itself. You can see this word combination. So, the word combine tells you that something is getting combined and giving you the reaction. So, combination reaction means what? Two or more products, there can be two or more reactants, okay, can come together and form a single product. Okay, remember a single product. So, now in this equation, if you see, I have written C plus D, but in combination reaction, there won't be this D, only one product will be form in a combination reaction. So, this is what you have to remember. Okay. Example I have given you, you can see Mg plus O2 gives you 2 MgO. What is Mg? Magnesium plus oxygen when they react. Now, if you see, these are react. Which is the reactant? Can you tell me? Magnesium is a reactant. Oxygen is the reactant. Now, these are more than one react. Okay. It is two reactants. They are undergoing a reaction and giving you a single product that is MgO, magnesium oxide. Okay, this is called a combination reaction. Very simple to understand. Okay, now, next type of reaction that is the decomposition reaction. Again, as I already told for combination reaction, combine is the word. For decomposition reaction, what you have to look is decompose. What is decompose? Decompose means something which gets, you know, rotten up, something which gets broken up, okay. So, similar is the definition when a single reactant, now in this case, there is a single reactant, reactant is single, but it undergoes a chemical reaction and breaks down to form two or more products, okay. It breaks to form two or more products, remember products, there are multiple products, 
many products could be there but there is a single reactant this is called as a decomposition again very easy to understand something is getting decomposed okay getting reacted to form more than a single product let's see an example example is agbr getting reacted and getting decomposed i would say and getting ag plus br2 okay this is very simple to understand this is the basis of this chapter If you see this, when an element displaces another element from a compound, this is called a displacement reaction. This is the third type of reaction, that is displacement reaction. Again, you have to see the word. What does the word say? Displace. Now, what is to displace? Now, before I tell you, I will give you the example first, so that you can understand it very easily. Now, you see this example very clearly and try to understand what is getting. You can see Fe here and CuSO4 here. What you can see? Fe is combined with the SO4 and copper is single. So what is happening is that something is getting displaced. What is to get displaced? It is moving from its position. Okay. One thing is moving from its position. What is that? See. This part is going to Fe. Like this and what is happening copper is getting separated so the definition says when an element displaces another element from a compound okay an element element has to be what single element means a single fe is an element okay, it's a single displaces another element it has to displace another element that is if you see this is one element and what is the element in this copper is element in this and this is what entire thing this is a compound from a compound so from this compound you are displacing copper out okay that is called as the displacement reaction easy to understand okay and the last type of reaction is a double displacement reaction now as the word suggests i always tell to see words word suggests displacement reaction okay it is same here but what is the difference there is one word attached to it that is the double displacement so as in the previous case one thing was getting displaced here two things will get displaced as far it is called double displacement okay let's see example you see here huh? sodium sulfate plus barium chloride gives you sodium chloride plus barium sulfate okay now you can see sodium here Sodium is combined with SO4 and you see and barium is combined with Cl. What happens is it just gets displaced. This gets displaced to this and therefore and this gets displaced to this. So what is it is called? That's why it is called as the double displacement reaction. Okay. You see the products. Therefore the definition says a reaction in which exchange of ions take place. Now this word ions. What do you understand by this word ions? Ions is nothing but the terminal part of this compound. You see, SO4. SO4 is an ion. Cl2 is an ion. Chlorine is an ion. Okay, chlorine ion. This chlorine ion gets displaced from barium and it goes to sodium. And the sulfate ion displaced from uh, sodium and goes to barium. Okay, again very easy to understand. These are four main types of reactions that are there okay apart from this there are many but these four are important for you to understand and one sure shot question from this maybe as a definition maybe as a name the following as a fill in the blank as a match the following and there are various types of mode as a short answer a big answer can also be asked you know for four marks to state all the four equations okay now moving on to the next thing what is the next thing says uh, this is one more time. Now, this is a. Uh, uh, these are main four equations which were the uh, types of reaction. Now, this there are many other also as I told. The reaction in which an insoluble product settles down is called a precipitate reaction. Again, go on the name. Precipitation. Now, this is not the precipitation of rain or snow. This is not that. What is to precipitate? Precipitate is to form a solid base 
in a reaction. When there is a solid compound getting settled down in the reaction, it is called a precipitate formation. Okay. So when a precipitate takes place, it is called a precipitate reaction. Okay. Let's see the example. In the example, if you see, this is the reaction that is happening. It is the same example, I think. Yes, it is the same example as the displaced. This is a double displacement reaction, but it is a precipitation reaction. Can you see how it is? Okay. In this, the precipitate which is formed, because there is a formation of precipitate, it is called as the precipitation reaction. See? An insoluble product settles. Insoluble product means what? It is not getting soluble in it. And therefore, as a solid compound, it is getting settled at the bottom. Okay? That's it. That is, that is what is precipitation reaction. Next thing. A reaction in which heat is evolved is called exothermic reaction. Now, this is another type of reaction. If you see, a reaction in which heat is evolved. Heat is evolved means what? It is given out. What is the meaning of the word evolve? It means that heat is given out. So when a heat is given out, it is called as the exothermic. Exo means something is getting exited. So it is called exothermic. What is therm? Therm means heat. Exothermic. Heat is going, it is exiting, it is going out. So it is called an exothermic reaction. Okay. Very easy to understand. This is one of the important question. Okay. Most of the time this is everywhere asked okay next is just the opposite of exothermic reaction wherein a reaction in which heat is absorbed in exothermic heat is given out here heat is being absorbed it is taken inside okay that is called endothermic reaction endo endo means something is already coming inside so it is endo again thermic as i told is related to heat so that heat is being absorbed, heat is taken inside. That is why it is called as the endothermic reaction. Okay, very easy to understand. Now, this is an important part. The gain of oxygen or the loss of hydrogen is called oxidation reaction. Very, very important concept. There is a lot of thing to understand based on this thing. Now. Oxidation reaction. Something is getting oxidized means that there is a gain of oxygen and when there is a gain of oxygen or there is a loss of hydrogen. Now, if you say loss of hydrogen, it means that hydrogen is getting out. Okay, this is called as oxidation reaction. We will understand this by an example. Okay, you see here there is a, there is a copper which is getting reacted with oxygen. Okay, and you are getting copper oxide. So, this copper is getting oxidized. And who is oxidizing it? O2 is getting, O2 is making it as oxidized. Okay, are you getting it? So, copper oxide which has got oxidized now is because of this reaction that has taken place that is the oxidation reaction. So, whenever there is gain of oxygen, you see a copper has gained oxygen or no? So, it is the oxidation. Now, again, just the opposite of that is the reduction reaction. Now, what happens in the reduction reaction? There is loss of oxygen. Okay? In oxidation, there was gain of oxygen. In the reduction, there is a loss of oxygen or gain of hydrogen. In this, there could be gain of hydrogen. So, when hydrogen has been gained and there is a loss of oxygen, here we can see that this is a reduction. Let's see the example. Copper oxide plus... Uh, Hydrogen gives you copper plus hydrogen. Okay. Now, this was having an oxygen. In this equation, can you see oxygen? No. The oxygen is gone. Gone as a water or something. Okay. And we are adding to it hydrogen. So, addition of hydrogen is taking place. Okay. Therefore, it is called as the reduction reaction. There is a loss of oxygen from this. Okay. Therefore, it is reduced. And we would say that this is reduced okay very easy to understand now this there is one more type of reaction wherein both things can happen both things means what word there could be oxidation and there could be reduction both thing happening in a single equation or single reaction okay 
that is called as the redox reaction redox what is the meaning of redox there is a reduction and there is oxidation also okay the word is very easy to understand when both things is happening it is called as the redox reaction okay now what does the definition says in a reaction when one reactant is oxidized and the other is reduced now this is important one reactant is oxidizing uh, one reactant is there it is getting oxidized and there is other which is getting reduced so simultaneously both things are happening therefore it is called as the redox now see this in this example you see zinc oxide see when it is in the product form what happens is it is a simple element zinc what has happened this o has gone where it has gone to this carbon and this carbon which was not having oxygen has now got an oxygen here so zinc is been reduced why because it has lost its oxygen and carbon is oxidized why because it has gained that oxygen okay so there is loss of oxygen also and there is gain of oxygen also in the same reaction therefore there is oxidation also there is reduction also therefore we call it as a redox reaction very simple now metals combined with oxygen in air in the presence of moisture this is called corrosion now this is very very i would say natural thing which we see everywhere okay you must have seen your iron grills which get corroded why they got corroded because they are exposed to air they are exposed to oxygen and this oxygen which is there it reacts with them okay in the presence of moisture okay this phenomenon is called as corrosion this is important it can mostly come as a short mark short question okay metals combined with oxygen in presence of moisture this is called as a corrosion okay now as us, as i said metals are getting corroded what about foods and other things that are getting spoiled due to oxidation now the spoilage of food items due to oxidation is called rancidity remember the word rancidity what is rancidity there is a spoilage of food items whenever if you keep any food item open what happens to it fungus comes and it get it gets oxidized and it gets spoiled okay so that phenomenon is called as the rancidity important term okay now this is an important point which i have stated here compound of steel because this is there in the textbook and most of the time and name the following is come this is uh, most of the time it has been asked for board exams okay even as a correlation question if you see there are correlation questions colon colon question okay there there mostly this question comes okay compound of silver used in black and white photography you have to remember that it is silver bromide agbr okay silver bromide is used in black and white photography okay most of the time this comes then uh, we are giving you the example of we have not discussed this previous we have already discussed what is exothermic reaction but let's see the example okay respiration is a type of exothermic reaction and also decomposition of vegetable this is termed as an exothermic what is exothermic heat is been given out in respiration heat is given out again in decomposition of vegetable the heat is been given out okay the gas flushed in chips packets to prevent oxidation this you have to uh, remember this gas because there is a question which mostly comes and which asks which is the gas which is flushed in a chips packet so also you have to know this what is uh, what would happen if nitrogen gas was not put in the chips packet what would have happened they would have got rancid they already um, studied what is rancidity if we keep it in open oxidation would take place and it would get rancid so to the prevent this rancidity nitrogen gas is the thing which is added in the chips packets okay now methods to prevent rancidity now one we have told you already nitrogen gas okay what are the methods to re remove this to prevent this rancidity not remove to prevent this rancidity one thing is adding antioxidants okay 
what is adding antioxidant we know oxidation is um, the thing which makes things rancid so add antioxidants okay just the opposite of that okay by doing that we can prevent rancid in the second thing is keep food in air tight packets what is air tight packets again the same thing gas flush and chips okay so by keeping things in air tight packets we can prevent rancidity now this is the important thing to know one substance made from calcium oxide okay this is i have written here so that you all know this thing because most of the time for one mark question the small small things which you tend to miss out from your textbook okay but you all have to know this okay one substance made from calcium oxide it is cement cement is made from calcium oxide this is what you have to remember now now observe this reaction and answer now here i have some few questions i think now so observe this reaction and answer copper plus oxygen gives you copper oxide now let's see what are the question state the color of copper oxide now this question come now this is there in your textbook also if you see your ncert textbook this question is there in your textbook state the color of copper oxide okay you have to see now i am not going to explain how this is coming okay i have just inserted this question so that you all know that this type of questions can also come okay so you have to study this reaction there are it is uh, there in your textbook okay moving forward okay copper oxide now why is copper said to be oxidized okay now balancing the reaction i have, i will go to it i have put one question uh, about balancing the reaction now, balancing the reaction is an important type of question it is a sure question which every year comes because you are given a reaction here and you are told to balance it okay now why is copper said to be oxidized because oxygen is added to copper it is said to be oxidized now this is a very simple answer you would say that oh this is a very simple answer but most of the time when we see this type of question we get you know we get annoyed and we forget the simple things now, in this reaction if you see why is uh, copper said to be oxidized and we tend to think what is happening this could be some big thing but it is not big thing only because the answer is very simple you are not giving big words okay because oxygen is added to copper it is getting oxidized simple okay now here i have some examples to try out now okay let's try out this examples identify the types of reaction okay now this chapter is almost over i think we have to identify the type of reaction in this examples now first example see zinc oxide plus carbon is giving you zinc plus car carbon monoxide okay what is this type of reaction we have studied so many types of reaction okay let's see what in this reaction i think i have given in one of the example okay you see here there are there is zinc oxide which is there it is getting reduced to zinc so that is this is what this is reduction and similarly you can see that carbon is getting oxidized so this is oxidation now since both the things are happening this is called as redox reaction okay this is redox okay let's move to the next question mg plus o2 gives you 2 mg clearly you can see that there are more than one reactant and it is giving you a single product so this is nothing but this is a combination reaction okay combination okay i am not writing the full thing then identify this one okay clearly you can see i think this was the example i have used earlier okay so you see this sodium which is attached to sulfate it is now attached to chlorine see and this chlorine is going to this and this barium is now attached to the sulfate which was part of this so this is there is double displacement which is taking place so this is a double displacement reaction next thing is i can easily identify it here calcium carbonate okay is getting into cao and this is a single reactant getting into two different products so this is a decomposition reaction okay simple example and these are the only simple types of question which are coming for example 
Okay, now this is what I was telling. Balance the following reaction. This is an important question which always comes, and um, you must have been taught this. Okay, so let's solve this. I will just solve two question, and maybe I'll give you two three question for you all to solve. Okay, you can try them now. AgBr gives you Ag plus Br two. What is to balance the reaction? Balancing the reaction is nothing but giving the individual compound which is the other individual element you have to give them the coefficient such that they get balance on the both side left hand side and the right hand side there are equal proportion of that that particular element okay now here you see ag here in the left hand side one ag here there is one ag i would always suggest you all to look at compound which is single okay and try which are which is having a more than now this is having see br is Twice, okay. Br is twice. Here Br is once. So just try by writing a two, okay. Don't directly write. Just keep in your mind what if I put here two, okay. Now you you put here two. Now this here become two Br. But if you see Ag here, it is one. But now it has become here two Ag. So add two here, okay. See now now it is balanced two Ag here also two Ag on the right hand side also two Ag Br. Two and on the right side also two. So this equation is now balanced equation. Okay, let's see this one more example. Here hydrogen. If you see, there are two hydrogens here. Here are also two hydrogen. Okay, so hydrogen is balanced, but oxygen here it is two and here it is just one. So without okay much thinking, just assume what if what will happen if we have we write two here. When we write two here, okay, this is satisfied now. Okay, but what happens is now. Hydrogen has become four. This two and two, two it becomes. Okay, so hydrogen has become now four. So what do we have to do here? Add two here. Two H two here also two H two O two, and this two goes here too. So now the equation is balanced. Okay. So I have many other examples also. You all can try them on your own. You all can screenshot this page. You just screenshot this page and try these equations. So that was all from this chapter. Share this video with your friends and family. Hit a like, and if you have any doubts, put them in the comment box. And subscribe to Sudeep Tech Learning.